So I think everybody knows Microsoft Teams is a great tool for conducting uh, video and voice communications um, in more of a traditional meeting sense. People are, are quickly adapting to using uh, virtual meeting software like Microsoft Teams um, to deal with a mobile workforce and um, even things uh, in terms of when people need to work from home for either um, productivity issues or, or safety issues or whatever that might be. So Microsoft Teams has always been a great tool for that. But I don't know if everybody knows that you can actually use Microsoft Teams as a phone system. Microsoft in 2020 released a feature to Teams called Teams Voice. And Teams Voice actually allows you to use Microsoft Teams as a phone system, a voice over IP or VoIP system. Um, and this is a feature that can be easily turned on. Um, some of the requirements for it is that you're using an Office 365 subscription account, usually a uh, business, um, either basic, standard, premium, or one of the enterprise level um, agreements, so the E1, E3, E5 uh, CALs. Uh, this also applies to nonprofit uh, SKUs as well. Um, this typically takes between $20 to $30 or so a month for a user, and that gives you access to the team's voice. You'll get a phone number associated with that. If you have existing numbers that you'd like to port in, we can do that as well, um, so you can retain your numbers. Um, and then you can actually use Microsoft Teams as a phone system. And so what we're looking at right now is actually the uh, interface in the application um, for M Microsoft Teams, uh, looking at the call um, icon here on the left-hand side, and that shows us the, uh, the interface so that I can actually make phone calls from here. And you'll notice that I can add speed dial this here. I have the ability to have a speed dial, a contact list, I have a history, shows me who I've called, and it even includes voicemail. I have a uh, dial pad that pops up now that I can actually make uh, calls from. So let's go ahead and I'll just dial a number here. So then I, it actually launches a Microsoft Teams um, meeting here uh, for that phone call. And uh, it can very easily then be translated into a full Microsoft Teams meeting uh, if you wanted to uh, have video and things like that enabled. Um, consequently, also, um, the call feature is built into a Microsoft Teams uh, meeting. So if I'm in a meeting and I want to add somebody as a phone call, let's go over there and start a meeting up really quick. When I'm in the meeting, if I want to add somebody, I can click on the uh, participants window that'll pop up this toolbar here, and I can just type in a phone number. And you'll see that I can now just dial that by a phone number, and that's going to go ahead and make the phone call. So this is really ha helpful when you're conducting a meeting and you need to add somebody in really quickly. Uh, just adding them in by making a, a, a quick phone call. Uh, it also is a great uh, feature when you need to add people to your meeting that maybe don't have Microsoft Teams. So Unknown participant Microsoft is Teams now exiting. Um, can then essentially become your phone system. This is something that um, your IT department is very capable of helping you implement. Um, it does require some subscriptions and some configuration, things like that, but I think it's a really, really interesting and compelling use case of leveraging the Office 365 platform that you're already subscribing to uh, to get the most benefit out of it. So if you have an existing VoIP system or you have a legacy uh, PBX system or things like that that you're struggling with um, features and things like that, I think uh, looking at Microsoft Teams Voice is something that uh, should be on your agenda. So I hope you found this useful and interesting. Again, I'm Bruce Fike with Aldrich, and we'll be talking more teams later.